Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber 10 minutes at a time oh yeah people we got this flipped upside down I figured we'll give you a walk around to the top why well, just make it a half a walk around we got our the sails we got them mounted okay real pretty easy setup got a hook up front here it also has a bolt going through it once these other bolts are in in here pretty good mounting system we came up with that in Texas okay but I just wanted to show you guys what this looked like with the sails on it from the bottom and this is just some tape residue where I had them taped back together but a long time ago someone said them the cells didn't look right but the the doors wasn't on them and it kind of made them look funny and also these little humps right here now these ain't on your plastic model but they're on the real ones yep 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 sure is probably makes that a little bit of a flying surface there I don't know if that was a reasoning but that would be mine <laughs> but uh, this is what I'm gonna do all right I'm gonna get these hydraulics hooked up I know there's some people out there excited to see that and kind of so am I but I want to see them go and work good and work really good except them real ones they have a they have a deal up here that hits this wheel and holds that flat I'll get that adjusted see that wheel in the back there okay that's what makes them fold up right you got like a little piece of metal up there a track for them wheels to roll on and uh, we're going to put that in there but I think I don't want to fill this hatch up too much dang I think fits good I don't want to put all my stuff in here and clutter up that bomb bay you know, I might put my battery on here so here's a place right here in between my spars on the bottom some nice panel lines right there I think I'm going to cut me a hatch right there then I can put my pump my cylinder that I'm using for my accumulator, my micro switch, my servo, all right there. Then I can just put my battery right there. Bam. All right, and I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and tonight. Figured I'd make y'all some videos and let y'all watch. But uh, I got the, the baby B1 pretty much figured out. I think I was going. Uh, too nose heavy because I didn't have no elevators you know but it was wanting to climb so I put a little bit of down thrust and a little bit of left in my motor and I'll, I'll go chuck it again but I think I was going too nail heavy it was wanting to climb but uh, I'm thinking you know I was thinking at the time it was tail heavy tail heavy but then I couldn't get it these wasn't working you know I, I had it flying but just the elevators I didn't have no authority on the elevators and the ailerons very good so I'm thinking I went the wrong direction you know but you know some people out there don't think I'll learn much from that I'm thinking anything I learned from that is uh, gonna help me in the long run you know if I gotta go up and crash something and tear it up I'd sure rather it be that foamy but anyway Here's what I'm going to do in the next couple days. Oh, 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 oh. Fixing to send out some t-shirts, people. Now, uh, a couple people, I don't have, uh, I don't have your shirt size, man. Okay, I'm going to hit them first. Paul Emmanuel from the Netherlands. Uh, man, I don't have your shirt size. Samuel, uh, Samuel, De Gallo from Italy. Man, I don't have your shirt size either. Robert Word of Woodward. Robert Woodward from Virginia. Need your shirt size, buddy. Jason Hale from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. I looked this up on the computer. How I got on my notebook without a street address. I don't know. But I need your street address and your shirt size, buddy. And uh, we're going to send these out. I'd like, if everyone gets me their shirt size, I'll, uh, 
I'll uh, get these out either tomorrow or Saturday. Now, you know, this is, this is going back um, from the last shirts I sent out, probably close to a month ago. But uh, that's how, kind of how I do it, people. When I get a few of them, I send them out. I know, you know, it's... Uh, I've been so busy the past couple, you know, before Texas and all that. Y'all know what I've been going through work-wise. And uh, I forgot someone from the last one, uh, Bobby Tubbs. Man, I got your shirt. All right, man. <laughs> I don't know how you got missed on that last one. But I'm going to go through some names, all right? And if anyone is expecting a T-shirt out there and did not get it, I want to hear from you. Just send me a message, man. I want everyone to get their T-shirts. Okay, Bobby Tubbs, Paul Emanuel, Dave McQueen, Samuel DeGanalo, John Westerling, Robert Woodward, Woodward Mr. I Am Derry. He's from the uh, uh, UK. That's the first one from the UK, people. I got a lot of fans in the UK, too. This is going to be the only shirt. Mr. I Am Derry. From Derbyshire, Rob Morrison, uh, Jason Hale from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He's real close here, man. I think almost gonna get it. <laughs> and Thomas Martinson from Norway. Man, we got uh, a few fans from Norway here lately. People wanting T-shirts. Sent one out to the Netherlands last time. Let's see. We'll go back to the last time. Um, Finland, one to Finland, one to Ireland, another one to the Netherlands. Ooh, you Netherlands guys are going to catch up with you boys from Australia. <laughs> and it's about it from out of the country, but uh, we've got a lot of fans out there. We're going to get you your t shirts. All right, and I still got plenty. Anyone want a t shirt? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to make a shipment. You want a quick bail? Uh, I'll ship Saturday. How's that? Today's Thursday. I'll uh, ship them out Saturday. And Dave, man, we had a killer old storm last night, man. Lost your electricity, tornado sirens, uh, tornadoes were popping out all over the town or all over the state, and uh, we lost our electricity. We was down in the basement. I apologize, but uh, I kind of forgot about it with all the sirens and stuff going off, man. Oh, sorry, man. But, uh, I can understand, but that was kind of a rotten email. <laughs> Man. But, uh, the tornadoes don't play around, buddy. We lost our electricity. We're down there listening to a little radio. Tornadoes on the ground. Heading to Hayesville. You don't play around with tornadoes. You head, you go in the basement. <laughs> We was actually hit a tornado in 91, man. That was a mean thing, man. But this is what I'm going to do. Okay, there's my pump. Here's the battery that's going to run this system. Okay, it's a big old metal mega battery, but I had this battery. It's, all, it's actually for something else, but I need 12 volts. And uh, this will work me for now. I actually got the guy from... Uh, um, Guy that one, two, three is going to donate some batteries when I'm ready for them. So this is just going to get me by for now. I got my accumulator. It's already got the spring in it. It's got a pretty good one too. It has some good pressure. The valve. And that's my junction block for the inside. Okay, there's all my parts right there. Oh, and the micro switch. Got a little better 12 volt micro switch. We're going to hook all this up on a board. Bam, tomorrow we're going to have hydraulic gears. Forgot to set the Bobo timer. Ooh, just in time. See you, folks. We'll be back with some more Bob TV. Oh, yeah, we're going to get this uh, hydraulic system hooked up. And uh, next couple days, I'm ready to get back to some bomber building action. Right here in the shop, people. If you want some t-shirts, you know where to get them. Uh, next video, I'm going to put my email. If anyone out there is waiting for a shirt and didn't get one, send me a message. We'll see you back at the shop. Same Bob station. Same Bob time. <laughs> Got that mixed up. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit.